Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Thursday night dual action here under the lights at the new Smyrna Speedway here as we finish our two-day, two-night task setting the field for tomorrow night season open here in the 2021 Body Armor Cup Series here at the new Smyrna Speedway for tomorrow's Fresh and Florida 400. But until we get to there, we have some work to do tonight here under the lights. The first of two Auto Nation Elimination Duels here coming up here at you tonight. These are going to be 40 laps apiece. These must, just like last year, they are going to help set the field. Now, the only difference from last year to this year, or it's kind of a big difference, but obviously this year we have the two front row starters, the Dale Lightning and Brandon Nelson, already locked into the field after our qualifying shootout yesterday in the two group stages and then the top 10 shootout. Today, what we're going to be doing here in duel number one, we set inside rows two through 11. Duel number two, we set, or yeah, duel rows two through 12, and then duel two coming up shortly after this, we'll set the outside of rows two through 12. There's 20 cars in this duel, 18 in the next duel, and 11 cars from each duel to advance to the main event tomorrow night. That leaves a total of 16 drivers going home and will not have a shot to win the season opener here tomorrow night. Joined again once along with Simon Derek Hamill, owner of Hamill Racing Enterprises. And uh, obviously we saw a lot of intensity last night, especially getting into that uh, the second group stage to qualifying last night was very intense. But obviously we're picking up the intensity tonight. None of these drivers are locked in. What are you expecting tonight when this race gets going? Well, I'm expecting people trying to get to the same place real fast at the same time. We're going to be, see hopefully we won't see any wrecks, but it's a short track. It's Thursday night. There is night thunder here in New Smyrna, is what this basically is. It's going to be very interesting. Obviously, too, we got the only 24 cars kick off the season, so it's it's pretty big here to get that win in the season opener here. As if, well, we're going to get this. Uh, we're going to start getting this race underway here. We got 40 laps to set the field here for tonight's dual race. Take a look as the starting lineup pulls alongside on the left-hand side of your screen. Dustin Davis, Shane Lake, Zydell, and Ryan Durrani. Drivers who were in the top 10 shootout yesterday advance and start on the front row for this 40-lap duel. Behind them, Logan Williams and Christopher Alfby, who just missed out. This group is going to feature uh, four drivers from the top 10 shootout, and then everybody else who finished in an odd number position. It's an even number position in the uh, first group in the group stages of qualifying but here we get set it's 40 laps we have 11 spots up for grabs 20 drivers nine are going home and will not have a shot to race in the season opener but here we go dustin davis shane lake they get us started on elimination thursday on down turn one here at 77 machine that is and dustin davis having the lead oh look at this just right over I will get under him, but he might be able to get under him going out front trip coming on the lap two now. There goes Zydell down to the bottom of Shane Lake in that 24. Lake on the top side, Zydell on the low side. And we're definitely going to be paying a lot of attention to guys moving up here through the field. See Bailey Pendergast, Brock Nelson, Jesse Turner, the veteran newcomer to the series. Thomas Trox is sliding back. Alonzo's already moving his way up. So you see the top side is definitely the place to be right now. Right now at the line, everybody from Alonzo on back would be going home. So this battle right here, Alonzo, Troxel, Jesse Turner, that's going to be for the transfer spot. For the lead, though, 61, Justin Zydell to the bottom of the 77. And he's going to go, looks like he's going to slide it out front here at New Suburban. <laughs> Get on it, Justin, heck yeah. That's my car taking I'm going to sound a little biased here, but we have them on this up for the last race. I'm telling you, we have the 61 this race, or this duel, and the 16 the second duel. We're going to be a, we're going to be competitive for sure if we can make a four car big race. But as you can see behind us, if you don't see we have the most balance for seconds with Shane Lake and Dustin Davis, looks like, but looks like Shane Lake will have an inside lane seems to be better in the corners. Shane Lake getting a good run off of the corner there. We're going to take a look, see if Dustin Davis, he settles back down in the third. Logan Williams, Bailey Pendergast, who started 10th. He's already moved his way up to 5th. So that 32 Mopar Dodge Challenger for Ryan Rayson is moving up through the field. Here, Joel Arvin Alonzo's moved up right now, though. This is the battle for the transfer spot. You have the 6. Let's see at the stripe where they come in. The 6, the 27, and the 10, and David Johnson who started on the last row. These drivers right here, and David Johnson slides around. Wow, what a double pass there. Is there three wide through turn three and four? They're going to settle it down. They're going to settle it all back down there. David Johnson, though, currently would be in along with Jesse Turner. But Roe, Josh Williamson, Brett Sierra, 
Got some big name guys back here who are currently not set to make the field, looking to slide their way into this main event. Look at that. That is the Super Alexander Rowe. He had some issues in qualifying, had to go out there too. Both of the arrows get that car fixed up for what they had. Not how fair to qualify. But this is the chance that they need to try to get into the Freshman Florida 400. At the stripe, it's still David Johnson, Jesse Turner holding on to the last two transfer spots. Alexander Rowe is working his way. Now, obviously, given that the uh, elimin the main focal point of these dual races is the elimination spots, so we don't really focus. We didn't focus too much last year on the battle for the front. We'll keep you updated, obviously, but our focus isn't really on the front battle for the lead. Obviously, though, Zydell. Shane Lake, Logan Williams, Bailey Pendergast. These are all guys right now who have really good starting spots for tomorrow night's main event. Taking a look down here though, through the field real quick as we go, Zydell in first, Shane Lake second, Logan Williams has had a, you know, he just missed out on going on the top 10 shootout, so this 38 machine is very fast. Bailey Pendergast, Dustin Davis, Brock Nelson has worked his way up to six, Ryan Durrani, hair gel Arvin Alonzo, David Johnson is moving his way up through the field, trying to get by Nelson Reeves in the 21. You gotta watch this eight car, Alexander Rowe battling with Trey Bartow. Right now, this is where all the action is for the final transfer spot here. You got the eight of Rowe, the 21 of Reeves. So Reeves just lost two spots there in that sequence, and now he's on the hot seat as Bartow looks to race his way back into the field. Let's do that, Renault's sponsor machine of Nelson Reeves at 21 for heel racing. I don't think that car might, might not be able to get to the bottom here. Because if you got fixed on the outside here at short track, that's just the death sentence for your race. Oh, oh there that, they go! Oh, round they go! Over on the 42, he spins down the back straightaway. I don't know. Oh, that is going to give us a caution. So caution is out for the first time here tonight. Angel Overa with a light little spin down the back straightaway. He spins out there. And that puts an end to that 16 lap green flag run that we had saw there. I don't expect to see, are we gonna see anybody down pit road? Uh, no, I, don't, I didn't expect to, it's only a 40 lap race. Not gonna really see anything there. I don't actually think, looking at Overa, car looks like it's pointing straight. I don't see anything. I don't see anything going on with this car there. Josh Williamson. Ooh, ah, uh, that hood. That doesn't look good. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Pretty crinkled up there. Yeah, that hood is going to be... Uh, this is a pretty fast track. So having damage like that can definitely... Uh, can definitely cause some issues there as Josh Williamson's going to find out in the 99. He is currently sitting... Take a look at the gray sitting 18th right now, so that is not a spot he wants to be in if he wants to transfer to tomorrow night's main event. We'll take just a uh, quick break, and we'll be right back here with the restart. Here we go, back. Sorry there, the commercial ran a little bit long there. Replay from the Overo spin will be on the bottom left of your screen here, if it wasn't already. Here we come for the restart. Zydell, Logan Williams, Shane Lake, Bailey Pendergast, Dustin Davis, Brock Nelson, Hergel Arvin Alonso, Ryan Durrani, David, jo David Johnson, Alexander Rowe, Trey Bartow hold the transfer spots. Nelson Reeves, Jesse Turner on the outside looking in. We're back to racing here in duel number one. So far so clean off the start. Lake and Pendergast so already looking. Zydell with a quick takeaway on the restart. Yep. I have a feeling you're going to struggle with that name there, David Johnson. Very sure to my That's the side point. As you can see back there, that's the Malvern transfer spot. Row, I believe, in that 8 machine. I believe he's in 11th. It's Row in 10th, Bartow in 11th, Nelson Reeves in 12th. Yeah, but, oh, look, we also have Fast there for 9th. He's barely in, and, oh, Nelson. Brandon Brockman. Who the heck is that? Brock Nelson in the 17 got a little wide there. He settles back down onto the bottom lane. Over halfway home here in the duel. Worth noting too, Bailey Pendergast just moved up to second. So that 32 car is flying so far. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm sorry, slow a little bit as the owner of that 60. Oh, looks like there's a battle up there. A few spots ahead of the, the seven. Oh, Ooh, this is 
All three of those cars are under a blanket right there. They're fine for about the same place in real estate. This could be aware though there's some hassle. Take a look there, Shane Lake. He settled in nicely back to fifth. You got to keep an eye on this herd of cars, though, from Trey Barto. We got Alonzo Barto, David Johnson, Alexander Rowe. He has slid back to 11th. No, he slid back to 12th, my bad. So right now, Rowe, Troxel, Sierra Reeves, Josh Williamson, and Angel Olvera, two of the championship contenders all of last year. Andrew Miller, Colton Neo, and Christopher Alphamy would not be in the show. There are some big names sitting out here right now outside of that top 11. And it's worth noting David Johnson and Alonzo, they're opening that gap up, so they're building themselves a little bit of a buffer to this battle for 11th. Yes, they are. And as you mentioned there, Angel Romero and Josh Lynn, those two are in the top of the top of this point early in the race. Nice step. And now we have a, we have a bow for a look here. We're all making look on the inside. Jesse Turner there. Oh, Jesse Turner stuck on the outside. It's going to see if he can fight off the Ada Alexander Rowe. It's going to be big. This is for the transfer spot here. See Rowe's holding his own on the inside. This is opening up the 67 and the Raging Red Bull machine. Brett Sierra, he's got to be careful here. He's going to get by Turner. So this is going to open the door. It's going to open the door for Brett Sierra, who started last, hasn't really moved his way through the field too well. Now he's going to go for the transfer spot, going to dive down to the inside, side by side with row for 11. New transfer man, Brett Sierra goes to the transfer spot. Now Turner's back oh. to the inside. Oh no, you hate to see it for Alexander Rowe. We got a little bit loose there. Stuck on the outside lane. Look at this, Josh Williamson trying to make it three wide on underneath that 21 machine. Uh, Nelson Reed, no way. Yes, that is Nelson Green, so my bad. Yep, Nelson Reeves in the Renault 21 there. He's trying to race his way back in. Oh, he put Rowe a little high there and comes back down. I think they almost made contact. Josh Williamson with no real, with some nose damage there. Brett Sierra, though, is building a gap at the stripe. Look at the gap there. He's got over half a second between him and Turner. So he's building himself a buffer zone. I don't know if Josh Williamson's going to have enough in the laps that we have left. Up front, it is still Zydell. Bailey Pendergast, Logan Williams, Ryan Durrani, everybody up here pretty comfortable transferring in right now. Here's John Arvin Alonso, Shane Lake, Dustin Davis, David Johnson, Trey Barto looking to transfer over to his first main event here in the Body Armor Cup Series, Brock Nelson, and Brett Sierra, who's basically gapped Jesse Turner here over half a second now. Oh, my oh, bad. Oh, Turner in the wall, and that just went from bad to worse for the six team. One end of Buck Racing's debut, and Durrani's going to go to the main event. The other in Turner does not look like it's going to work out for him. Troxel's not going to make the show. Andrew Miller, Colton Yo, Alphaby. This man right here in the 61 machine, Justin Zydell, he is going to make the show. He's going to make it pretty comfortably here. Really had a quick car here tonight in this dual race. Uh, don't don't jinx them. We don't want a dedicated commentator, commentator, commentator jinx here. But my car out there is running pretty strong there. Because now we should probably go back to that transfer battle. Well, it's kind of transfer battle. Oh, was it Kosh Lights on? Nope, Kosh Lights weren't on. It's not seeing me. But as you see, it's just one machine. Oh, we got Digging. the battle. Zydell's going to go for the win. There goes Olvera, though. He got around the, He got around Williamson. He sends it into the corner. Not going to be enough. Off the corner. Zydell wins. Sirik moves on. Brock Nelson, Shane Lake, David Johnson, just Dustin Davis, Trey Barto, the rookie in his first start. Ryan Durrani, here, Jell Arvin Alonzo, Logan Williams, Bailey Pendergast. Also two rookies right there. And Justin Zydell, the lone Honda in this race. They are going to move on to the main event. Take a look there at your finishing results. Zydell, Pendergast, Logan Williams, Alonzo Durrani, Bartow Davis, David Johnson, Shane Lake, Brock Nelson, Brett Sierra. They will make up rows 2 through 12 on the inside lane when we take the green flag tomorrow night. And you got to say there, Angel Olvera, I didn't catch her. He come from my bed. We were watching Zydell pull away. Yeah. He jumped up there quick to try and gain a he run on there. He had... Yeah, it's a major horse underneath that Chevy motor of his. He 
back car. He was trying his hardest there. If he had, I think he had a couple more laps to go gone through the show. Yeah, that definitely. Uh, it's a shame there for him. Probably if he, you know, if he didn't have that spin out, he might have gotten both of the uh, Stealth Motorsports cars into the main event in their first ever race. So that definitely would have been a pretty big achievement, but. Regardless, Shane Lake moves on in his first start, so we're going to see a lot of guys. There's uh, uh, Pendergast, Williams, Alonzo, Bartow, David Johnson, Lake, all making their first starts. A lot of veterans from last year. Alphabi, Yo, uh, Thomas Troxel, Josh Williamson, and Angel Vera, Rowe as well, not moving on in the main event. They will be sitting out of tomorrow night's race, and they will uh, return to race uh, in a couple weeks' time in about next not this coming yeah next sunday next sunday at atlanta that does though for duel number one zydell and all the guys there who transferred on congratulations to them and in a snap of a transition we will be coming back here with duel number two in just a few short moments and here we go back for here for duel number two from new smyrna speedway taking a look here obviously you got the rest of the field marty sakella and ada macro two rookies making up the front row daniel bouchard davy johnson Andrew Williams, Logan Williams' brother, Keegan Thompson, your other driver, Nathan Baird, both the Otter Island Motorsports cars of Monaco and McMillan, both the Collins Racing Machines of Rose and Barreto, Noah Clifton, William Brock, Zachary Fitzwater, Patrick Smith, Scott Upton has a make up the rest of the field here. Taking a look here, uh, what are we expecting here as we pick up the field here in this 40 lap second dual race here tonight? Um, I'm expecting some some more racing as a smaller field compared to the first race as we've seen early in the first race Justin Zadell took the lead and never looked back I'm expecting that third place car on the restart on the initial start actually to get a good run it happened in the first one happened in this to one day we are an aero electronics machine yeah, I'm going to take a look here as this race gets going here in taking a look what? Caleb Rose, after that, a jump start him a few times, has finally gotten off the grid. Hopefully that luck doesn't carry over into the race. All 18 of the drivers in the second group, second duel here, looking to make their way into the main event here tomorrow night. 40 laps, 11 transfer spots, 18 drivers, seven are going home after this event. They round off the turns three and four. Aiden Macro, Marty Sakela, and now a driver, no longer an owner. We uh, see as this gets uh, underway here. Duel number two, Auto Nation. Duel number two at New Smyrna is green. Going down turn one. As you can see, inside lane, superior line. Scale and Niall declare him. Now he is. Now he's going to watch the end turn. Number 50, Arrow Electronic Chevrolet. For their own racing there. Going flat to the Lap number two there, Marty Sakala takes the lead. Bashar jumps to second. Macro, Andrew Williams, Davey Johnson, Nathan Bear down in the bottom. Igor Barreto moving up through the field. Caleb Rose, Keegan Thompson, and Monica are sliding back. See so following behind him. William Brock is moving up. Scott Upton has gotten to the bottom of the racetrack. Oh, three wide. Upton is going to cause a wreck. Oh, and they're in the wall. have been involved in some sort of incident in the booth. I don't think this one's going to be as nice, though, to Noah Clifton as it was to Josh Williamson. Xavier's night. I don't see it too... Oh, the side of that car looks like it's flattened in. The 97, I don't see a whole ton of visible damage on him, but that probably hurt him. The 84 is the one I'm worried about. He hit the wall there with a pretty solid burst. Noah Clifton has him at the bottom. Fitzy's trying to make the show. Scott Upton, Monaco. Patrick Smith, Danny McMillan, Davey Johnson. So right now McMillan has the transfer spot. Oh, Patrick Smith wants it though. And Patrick Smith is gonna likely get it. Nathan Baird got stuck on the outside, so he's lost a little bit of time. This thing looking good. How about that 69 car Keegan Thompson right now on the ship? Whoa, dude, look at that. Scale is still Scale is still late. Looks like a William Brock just slid down the bottom of the racetrack. Really weird slide he did there. Wasn't ready for that. That car got loose. Both the Collins racing machines are moving up. Whoa, Bouchard got into the wall. Well, he might have. The side of that car looks like it might have gotten flattened a little bit. 
he hit right after the guardrail went there on the front stretch. Hopefully he didn't hit the guardrail, because that can do a lot of damage. Yeah, he's going to have to be careful here right now. Nathan Bear is on the hot spot. They're getting beaten and banging. Davy Johnson and William Brock beaten and banging off each other. Scott Upton moves his way into the field for the moment. Baird slides out. Let's see if he can get back down at the bottom, or is Monaco going to send it in there? No, nothing doing yet. Now Upton's going to move up through the field, trying to get around the 69 of Keegan Thompson. Baird sent it in there deep, didn't get anything to stick. Now Fitz is on the move back up through the field. He's going to look to start checking off these guys in front of him. Looks like the wall hit is not really affecting that 84 very much. He is right there back in the back. No, no but somebody it is affecting this is 50 of Daniel Bouchard, who's now down in eighth place at the stripe. Ah, uh, but he's gonna get back to the inside, so maybe he just got stuck on the outside there for a moment, but we have a new leader, Andrew Williams. Oh, where did he come from? Looks like that American Motorsports car set up. Ray Wright comes down setting these things up, man. He's got. They got a three. They're gonna have a three-way fight for the duel here. You got Andrew Williams. I think I just heard. Uh, I swear, I just heard the call. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh no! And McMillan. Oh no! Oh my gosh! You hate to see it. Ooh, Daniel McMillan is not gonna make the show in his first attempt here. That is not. That is not repairable. And unlike Arthur Xavier, that is not something you can just drive away from and still maintain your speed. Oh my goodness, did the teammates take each other out with Fitzwater? Oh, Monaco's side is destroyed. So the 79 of Monaco, what a disaster for Benny Watson's team as Otter Island Motorsports, both of their cars are involved in a wreck and neither are... Obviously, Monaco is still on track, but that is a lot of side damage to that 79. Way more than Xavier had in the 84. Oh, and Keegan Thompson's got his the rear end of his car is shoved in. I don't see that anybody been else. That could from them slowing down, too. He could have gotten rammed into. McMillan had damage all over the car. Oh, that is a tough break there for McMillan, Monaco. Those two guys, most likely Monaco's not making it. McMillan definitely is not making it. I think his car is... Oh? Well, we're going to see. I think he lost a lap. That was the only problem. If he didn't lose a lap, this is going to get... Oh, he lost a lap. He is not going to be on the show. He lost a lap, so there's no way he's going to make it. There's just he's not going to get his lap back in time. Uh, this replay, unlike the one, the spin in Duel 1, we will take a little bit more of an in-depth look at this replay here real quick to see what happened to bring out our second caution of the night. First in Duel 2 here in the Auto Nation Duels. So watch the 75 of McMillan. He's just going to, I mean, he's just, he's going to full send it. He sends it down into Turn 1, makes contact with Monaco. You can just see nowhere for him to go. They're going to squeeze Fitzwater into the wall. Ooh. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know if the paint job on the car is just masquerading it. Fitzy didn't seem to have nearly as much damage. McMillan's car is destroyed. The right side of Monaco's car is pretty busted up. And then I'm going to assume Keegan Thompson. We saw some rear end damage. We're going to assume his car just got rammed into when they were slowing down for the caution there. But that is a tough one there for these all three of these drivers, veteran drivers to league, and all three of them. McMillan absolutely is not making it. Fitzy and Monaco are going to have very tough climbs to, to make pretty damaged race cars here. Just a short time left in this dual race. We'll be back here in just a few moments here with the restart. We are back here in duel number two. Andrew Williams had just taken the lead from Marty Sakela before the restart here, followed by Ada Mackerel and Igor Barreto, Caleb Rose, Davey Johnson, Daniel Bouchard, Patrick Smith, Scott Upton, William Brock, and Nathan Baird, currently the drivers who are transferring onto the main event. We are back here for the restart here. Andrew Williams got a great jump in that number 28 Reese's Mustang. Will be slid up just a little bit there. And now Marty's going to come under attack from Ada Macro. It's going to be under attack from Igor Barreto. Caleb Rose behind him with Davey Johnson giving him a full chuff. And there, there goes Bouchard, Patrick Smith, Upton. Baird's already looking to try and move his way up to give himself more of a buffer room with Noah Clifton looking to get around the damage. 69. 
And you can take a look here. I don't know if McMillan... Let's take a look at the speed. They're just not going... Fitzy and McMillan are just not going fast enough to maintain pace. So it looks like both Fitzy and McMillan won't be making the show. And I don't think Monaco is going to either. That car looks pretty damaged. Which, I mean, realistically, is going to leave the battle for the transfer spot. It's going to leave it down in the back of this pack here as it starts to thin out. But for the lead, Marty Sakela. Look at that. Chrome Mustang. The great run there on the inside of Andrew Williams. Trying to keep it by there. He wants to take that lead back and try to keep it. He does lead that lap on turn one. Can he clear? He does clear. New leader and clear. Marty Sakai. There's Marty Sakai. Jumps back up to the outside. He's going to dive it down. Now Andrew Williams. Oh, is Williams going to try the crossover? Yes, he will. Andrew Williams wants a shot to win this duel. Andrew Williams going to elbow it down. Now we see Spina Brother and the Mustang man. Speed there. there goes Andrew Williams. That will go back to the lead. Amari Sakala, he'll dive in a second. Davey Johnson, the third. Igor Moreto, Ada Macrow, Patrick Smith. I think Macrow got into the wall a little bit. Upton is moving his way through the field. Caleb Rose, William Brock, and now Daniel Bouchard is starting to slide back. We're going to have to keep an eye on this. He could definitely be in danger of losing out on making the show. Clifton is the transfer. Clifton and Bouchard are on the transfer. Now Clifton just slid by Bouchard. That puts Clifton in the show. Bouchard out of it. So this is going to be a pretty dangerous situation here for the 50. As Keegan Thompson, who has rear end damage, we might add. He's going to slide back around there, get around the 50 of Bouchard. He's going to be going for Clifton. Back up front, new leader at the front of the field. Marty Sakal is back to the lead. Sorry we missed that replay there, Andrew Williams. These two are putting on a spirited battle for the fourth starting position here in the win in this duel. Well, no, especially fans come out here on Thursday night. That's where we're getting right now. Andrew Williams looking for a move on the inside. Sakal is down on the outside. I think Williams is going to beat him out. There goes Andrew Williams though, down side by side. He's going to get the lead back from Marty Sakala. Heading down into turns three and four. Will Williams fully complete the pass? Yes, he will. Let's see if Marty Sakala can slide his way back around him. These two have swapped the lead a couple times here in the last few laps, and I don't think they're done either as Williams slides back up the field. Marty Sakala goes to the bottom. Now Marty Sakala wants to try to cross over and get his lead back here. This is going to be a good finish here. As you can see, Sakala, those cars seem to go on pace. They are catching a lot. I believe that is Fitzy up there ahead. But I don't think they're catching for you in the race. Well, they got to be careful here. Fitzy's pulling 17 sevens on the lap chart, and Marty Sakala is going a second faster. Worth noting, this is oh, the oh. scuffle for the last transfer spot. Caleb Rose has slid out of the field. Oh, we're going to take a look. Oh, oh my bro, goodness. Bro, bro. Oh, Patrick Smith and William Brock, two drivers who were set to transfer over. What a huge impact there. You gotta be careful, see if these leaders hit them. Oh, they just went three wide, just like McMillan did down in a turn one and two. They went three wide, and it did not pay off for anybody. Patrick Smith, Dan William Brock, those two cars are completely, completely demolished. And that is most likely going to eliminate both of them. That, with that said, that just opened the door. We're going to have to see how fast his car can go. But Zachary Fitzwater is going to have a few laps. And he'll get one last crack at making the show here. So will Monaco. So will Xavier. Bouchard is the, last man, is the first man out. Hazem and Rose. I mean, and Thompson and Clifton, but Hazem and Rose, who were just outside of the field a moment ago, they just lucked their way back in with that crash. I don't see any damage on any of these drivers. Keegan Thompson, he somehow is driving the wheels off that thing with rear end damage. And Andrew Williams and Marty Sakela having a spirited, spirited battle for the lead here in the win in this dual race. William Brock's already back out. I think he lost a lap. We'll have to take a look in time and in scoring to see. Patrick Smith is definitely going to lose a lap. But we're going to take a quick look, go over this replay here. Pretty big accident here to bring out our second caution of duel number two here in the Auto Nation duels at New Smyrna. As you can see here for the replay of that previous caution that just came out, they're going three wide in turn one with Thompson, Smith, and Brock. 
there's contact between Thompson and Smith. And then look at this. Hardens the outside wall. 11 nearly goes up and over. He hit that at a very dangerous angle. If he was going any faster, that car would have up and over for sure and ran into the middle of the field. Yeah. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Yeah, if this was a Bristol or something, he definitely, even maybe a South Boston, he definitely would have been up and over. That was a pretty dangerous angle there for both of them. Three wide, it didn't work out for either of them. Keegan Thompson, though, trying to save Fisher G Motorsports from having no cars in the show and save them in the owner's points to start the year. He makes his way up into one of the transfer spots. We're going to get a restart here in just a few moments. Oh, my goodness, taking a look under the caution. What in the world oh. happened here? <laughs> Temper swearing? Sakela and Andrew Williams, they are getting heated for this dual win. And these two have put on, for the record, an absolutely tremendous race here between these two. And we're going to get it settled here in just a few moments. We'll be back here in a few moments here for the restart in the second AutoNation duel. So we're going to get a restart. It's going to be lap 38, so three laps to go here at the stripe when we get the restart. Next flag will end the race, checkered, white, or uh caution so we're gonna be ending the race here regardless on lap 40 marty sakala andrew williams saw those two tangling a little bit under the yellow their goal here should just be not to wreck they have both shown fast cars here tonight for the restart though marty's gonna get the jump for the moment andrew williams is gonna follow him in tow and andrew williams is gonna look to the bottom side nothing doing yet we're going to have to take a quick look there at the guys behind. Fitzy's already fallen back. McMillan, Monaco, Xavier. This might save Bouchard. It's going to give him a shot to go after. Equan has him here. Taking a look, though, for the race win. Oh, they're side by side for the race win. Going down the back stretch here. We were coming down the two to go. Or just going down the white flag. Not too sure. White flag this time around. Andrew Williams is going to slide up in front of Marty Sakala. I think he's going to have a shot here. It looks like he's going to close the door. Andrew Williams down the back straightaway for the final time. Looking to win the dual race here in the AutoNation duel number two. Slides it down the back straightaway into three and four. He'll win duel number two. Taking a look at the transfer spot. Who's it going to be? Oh, Thompson's out. Thompson is out. Hazem is in. Oh, heartbreak for Thompson to finish the duel. That's, you hate to see it. Two of the two are Toyota teams that both cars miss the field. That is four Toyotas missing the field. Monaco, McMillan, Fisher G's cars of Keegan Thompson and Alexander Rowe. Both of them missing the field. Both of the Mercedes-Benz is missing the field as well. Alpha B will not be in the show tomorrow. Arthur Xavier will not be in the show. Zachary Fitzwater, William Brock. Ada Macro did make it around. I guess he decided Ada Macro wanted to be that guy who yeah, is the guy who takes the extra lap. He came home fifth in that duel. Good run for him and Caleb Rose, the rookie Nathan Baird, Noah Clifton, Igor Barreto. Davey Johnson got all the way up to third, but Williams and Sakela put on a spirited battle for the second duel there. Came down to the end. We see also it came down to the end for Keegan Thompson. Equan has him. Daniel Bouchard. Bouchard made his way in. Thompson on the losing end of that. Final thoughts here. Pretty hectic sec second duel here. A lot of spicy racing. Anything we're going to see? Was this a prelude to tomorrow night, we feel? Uh, I really hope not because we had some pretty scary crashes with that final one with uh, the 34 and the 11 machine. And we're going to have a lot more cars in the main event tomorrow night. We just got to hope they don't go three wide or maybe even four wide. But I don't think the drivers are that stupid, are they? Uh, we... No, we saw three wide last year. We saw a bunch of three wide. No four wide, I don't think. If we did, it definitely ended up in a wreck. But, no, we saw a ton of good racing here in both duels. Justin's ideal, pretty comfortable first duel, but a lot of spicy action for the transfer spots. Second duel, just chaos all up and down. Patrick Smith and William Brock throwing the curveball late. It looked like they were going to glide their way to transferring into the main event, and it just didn't work out for them. They took each other out there with a little help from Keegan Thompson, who doesn't make it either. So a lot of big names in this race, not moving on in tomorrow night's main event, but it does it here from the Auto Nation duels. We've done qualifying, we've done the duels, and tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern time, we are going to set the stage and get drop the green flag on the 2021 regular season. 
with the fresh from Florida 400 here. 125 laps around this new Smyrna Speedway. 25 laps longer than last year, so it'll be a little bit longer of a race, but last year was a pretty quick race as well, so I don't think it's going to make too big of a difference there. Might throw a little curveball into some pit strategy, though, so we'll have to take a look and see how that plays out. Heading into tomorrow night's main event, but that does it here for us tonight. Congratulations to Justin Zeidel and Andrew Williams, our two dual winners. On behalf of Derek Hamill, Matt Tuck, we thank you for joining us here tonight, and we will see you guys tomorrow night to kick off the season. Till then, so long, everybody.